Let's learn about macros in this video tutorial. I'll be using preprocessor command or directive. It should proceed with an ash symbol by the way. So ash define. So I'll give capital letter pi as macro template and 3.14 as macro expansion. Also note that you could optionally leave a space between ash and define, but it's mandatory to leave a space or tab character in between macro template and macro expansion. Also note that you should not enter a semicolon to end this macro definition. So this whole thing is called macro defi definition that is ash define space pi space 3.14. So macro template name you could give any name except the C programming keywords. So that's basic stuffs. So during pre-processing the source code the preprocessor replaces every occurrence of pi inside the source code with its macro expansion which is 3.14. So let me write a simple C program to find area of a circle and show you the result. So I'll take two variables r for radius and area, area of a circle. I'll ask the user to enter radius of circle. and store it inside the floating point variable, address of floating point variable r. So area is equal to pi, this macro template pi into r square, I'll write r into r. So let me print the result onto the console window. Area of circle is percentage f, the, the, the format specifier for floating point values. The result is present inside variable area. So this pi, wherever pi occurs, it should be replaced with its uh, macro expansion value that is 3.14. So let us compile and check it. Oops, we have an error. We forgot, I forgot to enter semicolon here. So let me check it once again. Okay, it's working. Let me run the program. So I'll give five as a radius of circle. So area of circle is 78.500, okay. So let me show you some more things. So, so let me show you how we can store a printf, an entire printf statement inside a macro template, okay. So this is very simple program by the way, don't get deceived thinking that this is very simple. Why even use ash define or macros? You will know the importance of macros. It is indispensable. You have to use it in application programs, bigger application programs. Otherwise, it will be very tedious and prone to a lot of bugs. By using simple macros, you can write efficient and faster programs. So I'll take ash define once again. I'll take display as macro template. And for macro expansion, I'll write a printf statement. Don't end it with a semicolon, by the way. So I'll write, I am display guy, a simple statement, G-U-Y. Remember, don't end it with a semicolon. Now let me display it inside. I guess we need to have semicolon here, but let's check that. Yeah, we need to have a semicolon here. It should work now. So now display keyword, that is the macro template should be replaced by macro expansion, that is printf statement and it's working, I am display guy. So let me introduce new line characters to here, which must reflect in the console window. I'll give five as radius once again. And yeah, new line characters are also working here. So this is very simple program. So going forward, I'll show let me let me show you more programs by the way and gradually i'll show you complex stuffs and very useful ones okay until then stay subscribed to our youtube channel to our, and to our blog and please share this video with your friends online using your whatsapp telegram linkedin twitter facebook etc and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you